to another vlog and in today's vlog I think it's going to be mainly about just a couple of new bits I've ordered from Zara or from the sales. I just love a last minute sale especially when it comes to like more expensive item like blazers and some nice trousers. So I'm going to show you a few things today um, but also we're going to go through my skincare routine and products I've been using in the past from Depology. Uh, basically these micro darts uh, masks um, but I'm going to talk about it later uh, but I just wanted to say hi start the vlog and um, so it's going to be very fashion and beauty focused vlog and uh, yeah get on with the day and get on it with the vlog if you guys are new around here my name is Eva I'm uh, from Czech Republic but I've lived in London for many many years uh, so you're looking at um, a London vlog and I'm a mum and I would love to start this vlog and hopefully if you guys like this sort of content please hit the subscribe button, like the video and let's start. And before we get on to the Zara, uh, I wanted to show you two new things um, I got, uh, which I absolutely love um, and I've wanted for some time. So the first one is this pollen bag, this is my third one. And um, you've probably seen this one on a lot of influencers, but I just love the shades. I love basically the sustainability story behind Pollen. Obviously, they've appeared now, a lot of the models they do, they've appeared in Emily in Paris. So in both seasons, I'm actually a contributing editor to Harper's Bazaar in Czech Republic as well. And I was writing about this numerous times, the connection with Emily in Paris. And this season, they've had so many bags. So many models have appeared on different characters from Emily in Paris. So this is my newest edition. Honestly, the craftsmanship is so beautiful. Um, I already have got this um, taupey color um, on another model. Uh, so I've got three of their bags, but all are just so stunning and so beautiful. Just trying to open it. There we go. Um, the inside is perfect. I still haven't uh, took the tag off. A beautiful like leather beautiful craftsmanship really top quality so if you're looking for you know a bag that is not like you know it's not Zara price but if you're looking for a bag that's um, basically designer quality for, for a little bit less I can only recommend this brand they honestly do beautiful beautiful bags and another thing I wanted to show you are basically the iconic New Balance 550 they're so hard to get and I've been looking at them Literally since last year, again, um, something I wrote um, about in Harper's Bazaar. So many models are wearing these, um, from Hailey Bieber to Candle to Gigi, um, Elsa Horsk, you know, all the like big names, <laughs> Victoria's Secret models and all this like it girl crowd. And they've got obviously the different color variations, but they're very, very hard to get. Um, I've been trying to queue now several times on the New Balance website because obviously I didn't want to pay reseller crazy price. And this time around, because I was saying to myself, you've already been looking at them so many times. You've tried to queue like in the queue of 13, 14,000 people and never managed to get them on the New Balance site you will have to pay. If you want them, you will have to pay the reseller. I found actually quite good one, laced, which doesn't have extortionate prices. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I haven't worn them out. I've been creating a lot of content with them. And because obviously I wanted to show you them nice and clean, I thought I'm gonna um, basically do that as soon as possible. So these are beautiful. There's few on Farfetch, but I will link the lace website as well if, if any of you are interested. I think they would have other colors as well. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with this uh, and uh, most of my reels and everything on Instagram have been about these New Balance 550 on TikTok as well. There's so many like almost viral videos or very highly popular with these shoes because it's, I would say it's a, it's a it trainer now um, basically. So yeah, um, and I'm going to get on with the Zara later. Uh, We've got an electrician coming in to do a lot of work um, to set up for bathroom renovations as well. So hopefully I'll manage to film it before he comes. I think he's coming at 10 o'clock. Um, but yeah, don't you worry. I'm going to definitely show you uh, the Zara bits as well and the skincare. Right, guys. So my daughter, who's two months old, is asleep. So I thought I'm going to quickly sit down and also film the cutouts. You will see the cutouts and what everything looks on. It's actually four pieces in total, and I'm gonna start with probably um, my favorite piece, which is a blazer. 
And uh, so as I said, I love to buy um, in the kind of last minute, especially the last minute sales, the blazers, and I um, grabbed this khaki one. You will see that in the cutout, but the, the structure is really, really nice. It's got shoulder pads, um, I think two buttons, and I just love that it's like long line. So this will look great with absolutely anything, whether you throw it over the shoulder or just with leggings and trainers or on a night out. And um, I think it came with a suit, the trousers unfortunately were gone, but I'm kind of like really into like the khaki colors at the moment. So I, for example, bought the onion bing um, cap, which is like a light khaki. I'm really into kind of like khaki um, coats. I have got a really old one, Marc Jacobs, which I need to dig out um, because I'm just really enjoying that color at the moment, surprising me. So I've teamed it up um, in the cutout with like a sequin trousers uh, tucked in like in um, high boots um, and a bag. Um, from Launer, London. So um, yeah, it could be kind of nice evening look, but there's so many options with this and I think this is definitely my number one piece. There's also another blazer, which I'm not so sure about and I think that we'll probably have to go back, but you know, you can make, maybe comment below, but you will definitely see that, you know, when you compare these two blazers, I mean, this this is the winner. Is this dress? I think ultimately it is a lingerie dress, um, but it was advertised as a dress and I'm gonna wear it as a dress, although it's a little bit see-through. So I may need to get maybe even tonal, the same tone underwear. And at the moment I can't really wear this because I'm breastfeeding and yeah, I could have an accident. Um, and you can't really wear a bra underneath, so things like um, pads is probably not going to work for this dress, but I cannot wait to wear it in the summer. Uh, but um, I think for more kind of body confidence, I would probably wear this with a blazer, which you will see also in the cutout. Just because of the lack of bra and I don't feel like obviously now after birth I feel in shape. Um, it's not bad, but could be <laughs> could be much better. But definitely love the lace detailing and I just love these sort of uh, kind of lingerie dresses as well. I'm pretty sure this was advertised as a lingerie but I am gonna wear it as a dress. Yeah, it says lingerie but it was basically the way they styled it on the website and the models were wearing it as a dress and I intend to wear it as a dress. Maybe both, who knows? Like. <laughs> make it count and uh, yeah use it for both the next item was an absolute steal i got this in size medium it fits it looks slightly different than it should be it should be quite loose and on the hips but again uh, from the same reason as i mentioned definitely miles away from being in shape um so yeah i'm not going to go into details because the um the people that follow me and are here know my situation uh, I had a c-section as well, so I find it a little bit more difficult to bounce back and actually start to work out and definitely not on apps So it fits as it fits and um, I've styled it with um, a classic Gucci pumps and a Cashmere polo neck. I'm gonna link um, Both in the description box. I actually have a discount code for anything Cashmere silk from the website where the polo neck is from So check it out. It's a 12% you could save yourself a lot of money and it actually looks beautiful with trench. It's kind of that classic, very neutral, casual look, which is chic at the same time. Um, so yeah, definitely have a look. I will link everything below, including uh, this new beautiful trench I have. Um, so this is definitely a steal. I think it was $5.99. Um, so when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I'll give it a go. And actually, um, I think it's my piece, my second favorite piece. And the last item is this blazer. And as you can see, it's not brilliant as it is. Um, it creases a lot. It looked very good on the picture. I think it was also came as a set with a suit. It looked very relaxed, but I'm not definitely not convinced um, with the quality, the fabric, the color. It's, it's a no for me. It was, I think, £20, but even the £20, even though it's not too much money for a blazer, I think I'm definitely sending this one back. Let me know what you think. And you can kind of see that even in the cutouts, I kind of popped it off and with the same outfit I had uh, with the trousers, I kind of tried this on to show you what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure you guys will agree that this is, that this is definitely a no um, from me. So yeah, uh, these are the four pieces I wanted to share with you in this kind of mini haul and I will continue the vlog later. I can hear my daughter has just woken up so I will have to go. I will continue the vlog later and we can talk more skincare. Wow, I've just received a massive bag from Grace Han, which is luxury handbag brand. Um, I think they said they were sending some luxury notepad and some goodies. 
so I can open it with you. But I want to do Instagram. Absolutely adore the bag. That looks really, really good. I'm always laughing when they send like a massive bag with a massive box and uh, there's like a few bits inside uh, that are much smaller, obviously not neat for such a big packaging, but the bag, oh my god, I love it. I love the handles that are obviously fabric, um, but anyway, uh, there's some cow shed, a peppermint, um, tea, which I will absolutely use, and this is the notebook, specifically design, designed by the designer. Uh, so I think um, the Kate the Duchess, she actually was wearing one of their bags, you, can, you guys can check it out. Good evening guys, so it's the following day and I'm actually stalking just outside of the window because they're filming, there's a filming crew, they're setting up and I was waiting for them all day because they said around 3 o'clock I will have to move a car and as always with commercials it was several hours late, I think it's now around 7 o'clock. Uh, I remember that from the days when I've done a few commercials <laughs> and anyway I wanted to speak to you about um, the Apology skincare and just show you a little bit of update from my skincare routine it's something that appeared on my channel previously and I'm very happy with it especially with the micro darts patches so um, basically this is uh, a box of patches. Um, again, if you regular to this channel, you would have seen this before. And they have got like a serum infused micro darts. So when you open it, you you basically get your usual patches, but they stick really well under your eyes. So it looks like this. And the camera won't pick it up, but basically it glues under your eyes and you sleep with it. Ideally, you sleep with it, and the results are amazing in the morning. Um, I can obviously continue and show you the makeup sits much much better with these and you basically meant to like leave it at least two hours so for example if you have a big night um, out or a sort of event where you want to look really good you can leave these just for two hours but I prefer especially with kids you know just to leave it overnight especially like um, now when I have a newborn um, things like that when you have got the hydrated under eye definitely makes a difference um, but I'm actually trying out uh, there's one product I can't try out because obviously I'm breastfeeding and they still advise to use retinol and um, the night cream so I won't be using that but I also have got um, hydrogel eye patches which would be uh, for me probably more kind of um, during the day uh, but you can see the packaging is also very 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 chic um, so I will be testing out these as well so these have got collagen in it um, but I'm very curious about the collagen boosting serum uh, so I'm gonna use that with my uh, regular cream today and with the eye patches so I have done uh, my two usual steps of double cleansing this is in the view sorry and I'm going to now apply the collagen serum. So also a very, very chic bottle. So I'm going to link these products down below. So you can guys have a look and shop. And this is a beautiful texture, very light moisturizing. Very feels like um, a top quality hyaluronic acid serum that sort of texture okay and then followed by a cream but I first put on my patches they do stick on really really well uh, so you just easily open the case and take the patches of this foil and place them under your eye and then just wait for the results in the morning so it basically targets your creases and small or let's say more fine wrinkles and you should achieve and they do work really well uh, a really really nice small radiant skin so I'm so curious about this filming outside anyway guys uh, so that's from the updated skincare routine I would definitely recommend this you know I love trying new things 
and we can catch up then tomorrow morning because I have to go back to my babies. Good morning guys. So uh, today is following morning. I said I've got the patches on. It's early on. I put my coffee and honestly I couldn't choose better day <laughs> to show you um, and use these patches um, uh, for you guys because I'm up since five and I had very very interrupted sleep with uh, with my um, baby girl. So yeah, we've got the basically the era of the <laughs> sore tummy because of the winds and struggle to uh, poop. Um, and it's always tough, but there are tougher times coming, including teething. Um, so in times like this, products like this are definitely a life savior because Trust me, he would look so much worse. I remember actually um, Liam was a terrible sleeper and I remember in one of the vlogs, you know, I had really, really, really big, like under eye puffy circles and somebody commented, oh my God, those circles. And I'm like, yeah, like I don't, I don't sleep properly. So anyway, I'm going to take these off and I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth and then continue with my skincare. So they're very easy to take off. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's so nice hydrated. Really, really well hydrated. So this is what I look like after a very sleepless night. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that I've got my ring light on and literally no makeup. You see me as I pretty much woke up and I look in the morning. So I'm going to continue, do my skincare routine again for the day. I'm definitely going to use this because that felt really, really beautiful on the skin. Uh, so this is the Collagen Boosting Serum. Really love the texture and I really loved how the skin felt. This is, this is what the bath looks like. And then I'm going to get ready for the day to face another day after <laughs> sleepless night. Well, it wasn't that sleepless, it was just very interrupted. Um, but I must say it's not touch the wood. It's not as bad as uh, as with Liam so far. Guys, so I'm so, so ready, a very quick makeup. I, um, especially on the days when I feel very tired, I don't put anything on my eyes, not even mascara because I keep rubbing my eyes. Uh, just qu uh, quickly style my hair a little bit so it's not a total mess um, but it looks very rainy outside and I'm planning to go I just need to pick up a few things in like boots and so probably after I drop Liam off I'll um, I'll go with Nessa just a couple of shops and maybe stop for a coffee I'm on decaf now so um, probably have like a proper <laughs> injection of coffee in, in Starbucks later uh, but everything including the products um, and all the information and the links to the website is going to be in the description box below um, and obviously all the items you would have seen uh, with the Zara items as well like what I've started with and anything I mentioned in the video is always going to be in the description box thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, yeah I'm very happy with um, with the results as always I will see you then in my next video. Bye-bye.